You can never have too many nipples when it comes to starting pigs. Snack time. Oh yeah! Boom! So it's harvest season and everybody's busy and it's hard to be everywhere you gotta be and you can't be two places at once. But with barn tools, it doesn't matter whether I'm here or 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 here. With barn tools, I've got the heartbeat of my buildings right in the palm of my hands. Cheers to a prosperous harvest and stay safe out there. So it is day two of bean harvest. It's early in the morning and David filled the wagons last night, topped them off. I'm going and dumping these, getting them empty so when it comes back to start mowing down some more beans, we're all good to go. David should be showing up probably around early morning, maybe early afternoon, just depending on when the beans can go because you gotta get that moisture out of the beans. And hopefully we get a little bit of wind today because that helps that helps too when you get a little bit of wind going behind you on the beans getting a little more dry so there's not so much moisture so um, yeah should be pretty productive day the beans the beans are averaging about 72 so that's that's really good uh, for the year that we had again very surprised with corn, very surprised how beans are doing. We're very satisfied and happy with it for the year that we got. Glad that the Lord's looking out for us and glad that Mother Nature, you know, she didn't do her thing that we all, all us farmers wanted her to do, but we still got a good, pretty damn good crop. We should probably be able to get the rest of the bean ground done today. There's probably 50 acres left and we should be able to knock that out. Harvest 2022 will be in the books. Good morning. I am working here at site two because I'm getting ready for pigs. Uh, so we're gonna start refilling this barn and I just thought I'd come over and show you a few things that we do to get ready for pigs. So we got our mats out, we got our nipple bars down and people ask, well, you know, how high should you put them? Depending on the age of pigs we get or the size of pigs we get, we either mount them on the third bar or the fourth bar. And these pigs are coming from a sow unit. They wean about a 19 day old pig. Pretty much from 18 to 21 days, I think is about where it ends up being. So they're a bigger pig. Fourth bar up is high enough. You can never have too many nipples when it comes to starting pigs. I've ran the feed system. I've spread this feed out once. The amount of feed that we get in our bin for this first ration the pigs are gonna have is based on the number of pigs that you get. We want to give those pigs a half a pound each of that ration. One thing we get asked about is the settings. This feeder has notches on it. We've got notches all the way from zero to 20. In our building, the only adjustment that we use is pretty much from 15 or one notch below 15 down to one notch above 10. If you have it open too far, they're gonna waste feed. This feeder, when the pigs get going, this feeder would just be, this pan would be full of feed and the feed would be as deep as the lip here. And this lip is, you know, four inches probably. The idea is they could move that. If you have it too tight, they can't get enough feed. If you have it too open, they waste a pile of feed. As the pigs grow, they get more aggressive at how much they can bounce that gate. To start them, you want it to where they don't have to move that gate very much, if at all, and the feed will just come out of there. Our nipple bars are our primary source of water when we get pigs. They're used to those nipples because in the farrowing crate where the sow is, 
there is a nipple that the sow drinks out of, and then there's a piglet nipple down below. These cups have a different kind of nipple, and they're not used to it, so it takes them just a little longer to figure it out. You can hear the heaters running. Each one of these heaters are 250,000 BTU, so when you think about the furnace in your house, a lot of people's furnaces might be 120,000 BTU, 150,000 BTU. So it's this is just about double of what your house furnace is. This room is 50 feet wide by 200 feet long, and we have 750,000 BTUs of heat. If we were filling this barn in the winter time, we would have our brooder heaters in. We've pretty much got everything put together. The barn is preheated. So really, we're down to all we need is pigs. Stay tuned, they'll be coming. underway I got the wagons dumped now I'm just running the grain cart mowing down some beans beans are a lot more boring than corn just because the yield is just not even close to what corn is but hey it is what it is we're gonna keep it rolling and hopefully we get this field done today Mother Nature this year has really been kicking our butt. So it wasn't supposed to rain till about six o'clock tonight, and we were gonna get this field done. But now it's looking like rain's gonna be coming in the next 30 minutes. And the crappy part about that is we only got about 20 acres left, and David is doing 10 acres an hour. So all we need left is two hours, and this whole thing would be done. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers, rain doesn't come till like three o'clock, four o'clock, and we can just knock this out, be done, and not have to come back for another day. But it'll be what it'll be.
last pass for Harvest 2022. Boom! That's it, folks. Harvest 2022 for beans is in the books. Beans for 2022 is finished. And we made it just as the rain started. So we got everything on to this last wagon. And it's going in the bin now. Beans are done. It'll be time for a long siesta.